Switch in. There you go. Hi, Destiny. How do you The uh, screen share looking right? It sure looks right. I think so. Can everyone right. hear Destiny? Radio. I hope I'm coming through all right. So uh, we'll be showing off uh, four packages today, including these uh, Forge dice set. I'll uh, copy and paste a link and uh, name to all of them in chat right now. Right, there we go. So allow me to show you the full glory, the full power of the Forge dice set. Yo, do it. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Ooh. Nice. All oh, yeah. And, and it works with all of the animations um, that Dice So Nice supports. Um, so you saw the little Blaze Particles animation on the D12 there. Yep. So we're going to just do that one more time because I love the sight of all that green. Beautiful. Beautiful. It's perfectly in time for Valentine's Day because I'm in love. And by perfectly <laughs> in time, I mean uh, two days. A day or two late. Uh, much like everyone's uh, presence to their uh, Valentine's special person. <laughs> uh, so we'll be showing off uh, three packages today other than our Dice So Nice. Uh, we'll be showing off the thing that should not be. It's a module package by DM Dave. Uh, we'll be showing off Ambiences Volume 7. And we'll be showing off uh, by uh, Michael Gelfi. And then finally, we'll be showing off Cupid's Valentine Vendetta, a longtime world on the Forge, uh, uploaded by Humperdink Wares, who's now apparently working for Loot Tavern, which is pretty interesting. I'm mm -hmm. glad they're uh, doing stuff together. So let's set the mood here. So we are just going to go ahead and... Let's see if this comes through all right. Is it coming true? Music takes a second to load. There we go. Yeah, I'm hearing it. Right. So this map, you know, looks awfully grim right off the bat. We have some grass here that's just covered in, like, miscellaneous slush and snow looking like a mess. The rock is cold and harsh. And we have some rather gruesome looking people who look straight out of a nightmare. Like, it looks like that creepy thing from, like, a Zelda dungeon that grabs you and, like, steals your soul or something. Pretty disturbing art. This is from the thing that should not be. It's a mo it's an adventure module, basically. You uh, install it, enable it in your world, and it'll automatically import everything you need to run it. All the characters, all the handouts, any items, everything. Nice. It tells the tale of a simple request expanding into something so much worse. Find a friend's missing son. But as the players investigate more and more, they find out that it's more than just a goblin king kidnapping them spoilers or... <laughs> nothing is ever simple in an adventure absolutely not <laughs> it's more than just like running afoul of some simple undead in a graveyard it's something far worse this kid this son got wrapped up into something far worse a threat beyond the player's comprehension the thing that should not be it's a pretty, uns it's a nice little unsettling tale from start to finish. It has quite a few scenes that look rather delicious. I'm just showing you a brief preview of the thumbnail, but you can probably see that these are very detailed maps uh, of very high quality that I definitely recommend. And since it's a module, it's easy to install into an existing world and slot into any campaign that you want. If you just want to quickly reskin it, Honestly, uh, uh, honestly, I, I, like... I'm sorry to interrupt, Leon. Uh, something we we keep forgetting to do um, before starting the the showcase. Um, please type hashtag Love Forge in chat in Twitch um, to enter the giveaway for um, a gift card. Um, 
we we forgot to to say it. Is it working? Yes, it worked. So um, yeah, we 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 like to do a, a giveaway for a gift card um, every time we have these um, uh, dev updates, and uh, during the bazaar showcase, um, you can you can do that. And once we're done with it, we'll we'll uh, we'll do the uh, drawing for for the the gift card. So uh, take this opportunity to type hashtag loveforge in chat to be entered into the draw. Uh, sorry, Destiny. Please continue. Fine. So as you see, it has all the standard fare you'd want ready with an adventure. And it and it only comes in at six ninety nine and is available for anyone to uh, purchase and install, whether it's on the Forge or on their local Foundry applications. Definitely a heavy recommend from me. Awesome. I don't. I, we we don't have, have enough adventure modules, I think. So I love seeing those. Yeah. Absolutely. I always like more adventures. You'll also notice we have some music playing that I played at the start. This is from Michael Gelfi. It's Ambiences Volume 7. You might notice that it has a good mix of music and sound effects, and it's very good as backing music. Basically, it helps carry the mood and helps fill in the background of the adventure as you proceed without being too overwhelming and distracting. Uh, and there's 50 tracks in this darn playlist, so it's so it has definitely something that'll fit your need. Like let let me show, for instance, one of like my my favorites here, the Plane of Chaos of Monastery track. Is this playing on the live stream right now, Kakaroto? Now it is. So this is some nice, fun, like ominous music. And it's just, oh, it's perfect if you need sound effects to fill in what you're doing in an adventure, but also need a little bit more, like some backing music with it. It's, it's one of seven, and like, and it's definitely something you could use in any adventure. I'm almost certainly grabbing this specific package for an upcoming session I have, and. If you're interested in previewing some of his content, Michael Gelfi does have some music sampler pack. It does have a music yeah. sampler pack, I believe, yes? Yeah, I believe so. Available for free on the Bazaar and yes. on the, the Foundry app. Um, and it's really good. Um, I, I use music extensively in my games because i think the ambiance just makes the whole thing so much more immersive so highly recommend for this mammoth album 50 tracks you can get it for 12 dollars. i think it's well worth the price definitely so we're going to unfortunately have to cut that off but we will be playing another nice relaxing uh track just at a lower volume and be showing yeah. off the final package this is cupid's valentine vendetta now from the gm side it's unfortunately full of spoilers so if you think your gm might be interested in playing a one shot for you look away now so <laughs> we get in immediately and it's all on a single map so it's an installable world. We don't get a lot of those, which is a shame because I, while modules are certainly flexible, it's nice to just be able to install a world immediately and have it ready to go. Uh, and on and uh, the world will last a very long time. They seem to translate uh, very well into updates. It's perfect one-shot material. Basically, the story is there's a demon known as Cupid wreaking havoc within the concourse, which is this marketplace slash like public area for the city. And you can see a whole bunch of people. Some of them are in some strange places. I mean, look at this. <laughs> Just garbage on the ground. Rubble left everywhere. Uh, a random guy hanging up in the rafters just doing stupid stuff. Uh, your party is basically walking into a chaotic mess where they've restrained a demon from pandemonium cupid within here 
But everyone else doesn't want to be here. Why would they? They're trapped in here with the demon, and so they're going a little crazy. And so your goal is to find Cupid, find the uh, imposter, so to speak, and uh, vote him out by way of sword. Wow. You'll notice here that each... that there are several levels. Uh, you can customize and tailor this adventure to the exact level your your party is. The average party level, in other words. There's some nice high-quality art here. It's all scaled, like level 14, level 8, level 3. Almost certainly it's perfect for whatever thing you'd want to run. I don't want to reveal the actors in the sidebar here too much because it'll show some spoilers for the adventure. But, like, let's pop this out here. You'll see that this token art looks pretty nice. It's a bone devil. We have a Cupid here, and his token art is just absolutely devious. Looks so cute. It... G Gier de Mello, if you're asking about this one, this is a world. It is known as uh, Cupid's Valentine Vendetta. Uh, you'll find it under the world category. So, basic goal of the adventure. It's another mystery, but a much shorter one. It's perfect for a Valentine-themed one-shot. And I like how it helps translate the theme of our showcase so far from one horror adventure into another horror adventure, because uh, there's nothing scarier than Valentine's Day. Am I right? Am I right? Yeah, I guess. It depends on the person, I guess. Some <laughs> people find it extremely terrifying. Others simply find it stressful. <laughs> yeah. And we can pull up the adventure here, like... Uh... Look at this, It's it even looks like a book. Like, it's pretty darn... Like, that's the th one of the things I like the most about, like, Humperdinck wear stuff. It looks so much like an actual book you're reading in Foundry, and that's so nice! Ah, nice. Oh. nice styling. That's awesome. I, I really love that side panel on the right with the various levels. Um, like, it's auto-scaled for you based on yeah. what kind of level your players are going to be playing this at rather than giving you sort of oh instructions change this here that you have the tokens ready and you can just concentrate on that specific portion it's interesting with the clues like it's mystery really love it the art is gorgeous looks like a um train station from uh, the 60s, or I don't know what what kind of Philadelphia Convention it. Hall. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> a little, a little, yeah. And there's just so much in the map, all the details. It's absolutely gorgeous. Love it. I, I'm not sure if you noticed, but this was uploaded back when Foundry just released. Also, when the Bazaar came out, and. Okay. So this is before a lot of the dynamic lighting, if I remember correctly, but it seems he went back and just backported it, which I'm Looks particularly, like, yeah. I'm particularly impressed by. That's really cool. I really like that they went through that effort. So yeah. you can definitely tell why uh, they teamed up with uh, with uh, loot with a uh, loot tavern, I believe it was. Yeah. Yeah, it's just sheer good quality. You can pick it up on the bazaar for $9.99. And again, like with most other packages on the bazaar, you can install it on the Forge or you can install it in your own local Foundry games if you want. But on the Forge, we'll host it for you for free. As long as you have a, a free against your data storage, mind you. So, yeah. Basically, quota free installation. So, that's the end of my bazaar showcase, but. That's not the end of creator stuff we'll be showing off. I believe there's a certain Kickstarter we'll be talking about today. Yes, indeed. Um, all right. All right. Uh, I switch back to the other view, right? Yep, absolutely. Let's let's, let's do that then. Let's Thanks for do that. Thanks for watching along my bizarre showcase. I'm really looking forward to seeing how you all feel about this Kickstarter because I'm super excited for it.